Super Silly School Poems by David Greenberg, pictures by Lisa Woodruff. Guest reader, Tobe, the alpaca. Super Silly School Poems. Table of Contents. Introduction. Can you hold? Here's a book of poems all about your school. Do you think that they'll be boring? Do you think that they'll be cool? Here's a book of poems. You're certainly allowed to read them to yourself or shout each one out loud. Here's a book of poems. Read them to a bug. Read them to your dog while stretched out on a rug. Read the poems at dinner, under blankets in your bed. Read them in a bubble bath. Just read them. Go ahead. Something you forgot. You remembered to bring your art project and the markers you just bought. Of course you remembered your backpack, but there's something you forgot. You remembered to bring the video game that you very recently got. You remembered to bring your lunch money, but there's something you forgot. You know you've forgotten something. You fidget and you fret. You remember to brush your teeth. But what did you forget? You're going out of your mind. You're terribly distressed. Then you walk in front of a mirror. You've forgotten to get dressed. <laughs> My teacher is a mind reader. If you as much as whisper... Your teacher is aware. Scribble on your desk. You haven't got a prayer. She knows you're eating candy when she hasn't even looked. And if you're chewing gum, dude, your goose is cooked. Belch, giggle, click, crash. A pencil sharpener, sharpening, a squeaky seat, a belch and a giggle, tapping feet. An eraser rubbing, a clicking pen, rolling the pen across the desk, clicking it again. Crumpling paper, dropping it in the trash, a student tipping backwards, a giant crash. Pages slipping, water fountain dripping, Blowing noses, packs unzipping. Your teacher said it's quiet time, so you only hear the noise of extremely quiet girls and extremely quiet boys. Were they being quiet? No. Mm -hmm. They weren't talking, but they were making all kinds of other noises. My dog ate my homework. More than crunchy biscuits, more than juicy meat. Homework is the food that doggies love to eat. Do you think that's true? Doggies like to eat homework? No. A lovely place to sleep. Take every coat in class and make a giant heap. Burrow it deep within it. A lovely place to sleep. We're going to stop there tonight. We hope you liked our poems. Bye.